And as you guys can see, this is a sneak peek to the reveal. We're going to get started with cleaning off the patio. As you remember, in our last video, we did the complete of the DIY patio uh, pergola build. So if you haven't watched that video, I'm just going to leave it in the description so you can check it out. Um, I have um, started to do the staining. As you can see, the posts have been stained. It's a slate um, semi-transparent uh, bare uh, stain and I absolutely love it. Um, we have it completed doing the top portion of the staining because the weather in my area has been very unpleasant this past week. It's been very windy and very cold. Um, so I'm happy that I was able to complete this patio uh, refresh, but um, I wasn't able to complete it as quickly as I thought I would. Um, so I'm actually doing this voiceover today on Friday, the day that I'm going to be releasing um, this video. Um, so I will not have a night uh, view for you, but I will be updating, I think, the thumbnail with a nighttime uh, reveal so that you'll be able to see how it looks. Um, so we're just sweeping off uh, the patio and then we're going to get started. Um, the bubbles are so funny. I was over there and I was uh, get, gathering the rugs because I'm about to clean them. And I did not know what that was that was blowing by my feet. So I was really surprised that it was the bubbles from, from the water. So I'm just sweeping it off. As I said, it's really cold outside, so I'm not going to be doing the power washer. So we're just going to be doing it the old fashioned way with a bucket of soapy water and a broom. And I'm just going to clean off these uh, rugs and then we're going to get started with decorating. I would like to introduce myself. My name is Daphne. I want to welcome anyone that clicked on my video for the first time today. Welcome. And to all of my loyal subscribers, welcome back. To anyone that is hearing my voice for the first time, I just want to welcome you. If you do enjoy this video, that you will subscribe to the channel and join my YouTube community. We consider ourselves family on this channel. We have amazing conversations in the comment section. So if you are new, please introduce yourself so that we can welcome you to the community. So because this is a new channel for me, I just wanted to just update everyone so that you can, you know, get an idea of when I'll be uploading. So I think I'm going to upload two long videos per week and two short videos per week. So the shorts are going to be uh, on Tuesday and Thursday and the long videos are going to be on Wednesday and Friday. So again, if you're not um, subscribed, I hope that you subscribe so that you can come back and join and enjoy all of the outdoor content that I'm going to be putting out. And also make sure that you put your notification bell on so that you'll be notified each time I upload. And again, I just want to thank you so much for stopping by and, you know, showing your support. And I hope that you absolutely love this makeover. So 
So this is just an overview of the two seating um, areas and how I set it up with the round table here and then walking over into the conversational um, area. I think that it, you know, it looks really nice on the patio, it gives us enough space and um, a separation. So I just wanted to give you guys an overview of the couple of items that we're gonna be using outside. Trying to keep it very like neutral outside and let the landscape really like speak for itself. So I am going to be setting the table. Um, at least I have plates. I think I'm gonna stack them and I might put like some uh, glasses. I have a Lazy Susan like tiered um, tray that I'm gonna be using. I have a throw. I have a plant stand there. I think I'm gonna take that full greenery out and just use it um, as a plant stand. I have this huge lantern here and then the other two DIY um, lanterns that I created during Christmas. And I have this basket that I love that I'm going to put one of my potted plants in. And then I have two pillows over here. I have an additional two that I'm gonna bring out as well to be able to work in the seating area. So this is everything that we're working with so far. It is very windy outside or I would have been talking outside, but it has been a challenge to be able to film outside this week. So we will get started. Hey guys, so this is the next morning. It's actually Friday morning, um, the day that I am going to be releasing this video. Um, I tried two other times to be able to stage um, the patio, but the wind was so strong. As you can see, the furniture that I had put out last evening had, was blown over. So we're just going to get started this morning with just replacing the furniture. So today is a much uh, less windy day, so we are going to start the decorating uh, this morning. So these are the some of the items that I'm going to be decorating with. So I just brought them out here on the patio, and we're going to get started. I'm very curious to learn how the weather is in your area, so leave me a comment down below. And this time for spring, I'm just trying to keep it very neutral, but cozy. 
So I'm adding in my throws, my pillows, lots of candles, and just a little greenery because it is a little chilly. And over here on the table, I purchased this Lazy Susan, which is a two tier, but I decided to just use one tier um, on the table. And I'm just setting the table with these beautiful terracotta plates and a white napkin. And then we're gonna go in with a bunch of different candles here on the centerpiece so that we can just make it very cozy. So over here on the conversational side of the patio, I just have three groupings of lanterns. The two wooden ones I actually created um, as a DIY during the Christmas season. And then the third one I purchased at HomeSense and I think they look absolutely beautiful together. And we're at the end. I'm just going to be showing the before again and then we are going to enjoy the after. I hope that everyone enjoys this video and I want to thank everyone for joining me today on this patio refresh. I hope that everyone enjoyed, so have a blessed day.